Hi, welcome to She Spice. So so 50 Cent is spilling the tea on the clouded side of these purported all white gatherings facilitated by Michael Rust. Rust, also known as Drake's friendly benefactor and child, you're not prepared for exactly the way in which curve this thing runs all right. So we definitely know that where you have many moguls and very rich people with limitless stock of liquor and different substances, it can't be uplifting news anyway. It's way unique this time. Reports have begun humming around that these all-white parties are simply one more reason for the Hollywood underside to have ceremonies and oddity offs away from according to them. E-media and the public authority and obviously 50 Cent had a great deal to say about that as per 50 Vips who go to this party either witness take part in or support large numbers of the frightful things that occurred there, if these things ought to at any point advance toward the public at fight. We'll run Hollywood to the ground. So Michael Ruin began facilitating these yearly all-white gatherings back in 2021 when he bought his 50 factory million doll Bridgehampton, Chateau, that first party filled in as a housewarming party, and it was effective to such an extent that Michael Rowan chose to simply continue to do it consistently for the people who don't have the foggiest idea Michael Rubin is the organizer and president of Enthusiasts, an organization that produces and retails authorized sportswear for pretty much every significant game establishment in the U.S. from double, UWEMLS and MLB to NASCAR in Equation 1, so he's rich. I mean, as of July this year, his total assets were valued at $11.4 billion. If Michael Rubin had any desire to have the whole U.S. at a July party, he likely could. Currently, as indicated by his consistent welcomes of around 400 individuals to every single white party, and practically every one of them appears to be no less than 350 of them. As per sources, each welcome gets conveyed close by a pricey present in 2022. For instance, the welcomes accompanied a $700 container of champagne just to provide you with a feeling of the size of these gatherings. And it's not simply rundown superstars that appear to be the best known rappers, rappers, vocalists, entertainers, entertainers, competitors, listeners, competitors, and presidents go to these gatherings. Gatherings. Applause, music, music, applause, music, applause, music. A portion of the superstars who went to the current year's occasion incorporate shake, Tom Brady, Megan the Steed, Gloa Kim Kardashian, and Megan Fox likewise participated, as did Drake, Drake, Beyonce, and Jay-Z, which is insane since Jay-Z, in a real sense, dropped his stone country party this year, evidently in light of the fact that he simply wasn't in that frame of mind to party. Yet presently, we know the genuine justification for why he dropped it isn't so much that Jay didn't need to. Party. He simply didn't have any desire to party with specific individuals. If you catch my drift discussing which the current year's all-white party was somewhat unique for some reasons first with all that. Happening on the planet, individuals simply weren't feeling the rich showcase of abundance at this party, yet what compels it considerably hazier is the bits of hearsay that the all-white parties are ditty freak. Offs on steroids, one individual expressed, not to seem like a flat-out conniving scholar, but rather something about these Michael Rubin white gatherings is extremely questionable to me. It's all unusual. And one more someone else remarked, did he used to go to these? There's PDF records and deal. Or is it that he now before you all feign exacerbation and jeer remember that individuals are presently beginning to draw an obvious conclusion with this multitude of wild, strange Hollywood gatherings where the uber rich go for reasons unknown than to get squandered it's not shocking that is ritzy. As these gatherings are, there's exceptionally insignificant media inclusion about it. The most you see is vibes flaunting their outfits, and anything Michael Rubin chooses to post on his virtual entertainment. And so we don't really have any idea what these folks do the entire night. That ain't off-putting to you all well. There's likewise the way that these gatherings are not your regular VIP home base ordinarily. When these folks get together, you can see them sort of attempting to keep up with. They're cool and not act too rambunctious in some way. Way. Every image or video that comes out shows the big names having a great time. Time. I mean, even Jay-Z checks out easier here than he does at his own stone country parties. Parties, young young lady, there's certainly a justification for why these big names feel sufficiently great to relax at Michael Rubin's home. Home, as as per insiders, 
These gatherings have a few truly dim things happening in the private cabins that make sense of the well-known decoration. Decoration. Aiden Ross was battling to track down somebody to go to the party with him. Him. He asked individual decorations like Kai Sanat and Duke Dennis, and you would figure these folks would immediately take advantage of the chance to spend time with the greatest vips on the planet. Yet they generally said they didn't have any desire to be in that strange party. And you can tell from their tones that they would have rather not cross the line. I'm all brother, you question Duke. Would you like to come to Michael Rubin's all-white party with me this year? Damnation, why accept the welcome sibling? You know, saying, definitely no. Are you certain you would rather not come gracious? No doubt, doubt. I'm great, brother. I'm going to be occupied that day. I think, okay, hello, brother. So, um, hello, brother. Hello, man. Um, look at this. What's going on, Adam Graceful? Yes, Sir Adam. Here you are. Look at this. This is Michael Rubin's all-H party for July 4. Might you want to go with me? No, stand by. No, definitely. I got a welcome from another. As in, Graceful, you're attending one more July 4 party. No, I got a welcome to the last M. Why did you go in light of the fact that I would rather not go? Well, on the off chance that you're not doing anything on July 4, would you need to go to the all-white party? However, you were invited to the all-white party. No, come on, brother. No, um, July 4 is the point at which we do firecrackers. Goodness, that is valid. That is valid. All right, check it out. Okay, brother, thank you. He even asked DJ Academiamics. Definitely, I'm live. I have to tell you something, brother. What come to the all Michael Rubin party with me? This comes on. How about we go? We out. Better believe it. What is the Illuminati introduction part? Hello, listen. I would rather not get hopped into the Michael Rubin party by Docile and Michael Rubin. I'm great. Wow, man. Okay, well, I'm going with Resign now. I'm saying I'm going to kick you with Compliant then. Hello, when you do kick with me, no ditty. Just let me in on all the... She got scholastic scholastics, you know. Easy going, not gay, brother. Come on, brother, you know submissive, not gay. Come on, I'm not saying he's gay, but he's the most terrible at not being gay. He's the worst at letting individuals know that he's not great looking. He's a Philly rapper from the Philly roads. You understand what I'm talking about. You're savaging anyway, regardless of how dope or insane these gatherings are. The one individual you won't ever find there is 50 Cent, and here's the reason. That is the reason I won't be going to them. Puffy standards, um, embrace you from the front and the rear of the sea you're discussing. I'm assuming you're into that. Go into that. I'm fine with it to get you tuned. I'm trying to say this is my kind of art. Like, I assume I have a place in the young lady's restroom, and like that is going on. See last year. Lil Dirk experienced harsh criticism after pictures of him embracing Michael Rubin became a web sensation. Individuals were saying the photos looked very suspenseful and that there could have been a more profound significance to those photos. In one of the photographs, Dirk is somewhat sandwiched between two men, seeming as though he's having a great time. 50 Cent had areas of strength for extremely about this specific Poe picture, and he went on Instagram to remark C to this end, I don't hit up no party puffy, and them at the F is going on here. Get the FIFS my FFS. My 50s most memorable time getting down on things like that if you. All recollect 50 circulated around the web for calling Diddy Fruity after Diddy proposed to take him shopping. So you realize 50 isn't about that life. Since the Diddy adventure began, 50 has been increasing his size. Savage game, and as you all know, when 50 beginnings, savaging anybody can get it. He even hauled Jay-Z in with the general mishmash by posting this missing milk container picture of Jay's and posting a photograph he guaranteed was of Jay waving at Diddy's personal luxury plan so 50 cent as of late. Begun savaging Drake after pictures of him joining in Michael Rubin's all-white party became a web sensation 50 cent has been on Drake's case for quite a while due to Drake's issue with Rick Ross. Okay, so as of late, Rick Ross and his team got gone after by Drake's OO team in the wake of performing at the Touch Off Live concert in Vancouver subsequent to seeing the news. 
50 Cent responded by hauling Rick Ross for getting hopped, saying he trusts the episode gives Rick Ross a superior attitude toward things later on. You realize I just saw what was happening that occurred in Canada, and I needed to share with everybody you know that I am um, I trust that that sibling made it home securely. I trust that, ooh, he currently has an alternate point of view and a superior feeling of what to do and what not to do. While you're out on the planet, you know, um, that part where the, the I outful person went as he did this little move and, and got thumped the out like not too far off. That was not that doesn't reflect him. That mirrors his camp and he could require to go get the you, the fantasy pursues, or um, the 305 executioners anyway. Fans didn't think it was amusing. They began hauling 50 for ridiculing something that could have possibly become a difficult circumstance. It sort of appeared as though 50 was favoring one side with Drake and his team. However, 50 immediately backtracked after the photographs of Drake going to the all-white party begun circling, and 50 has clarified that he could do without that party, or anybody who goes to it, regardless of who the individual is sources, are saying 50 Loki thinks the motivation behind why Drake is generally at. Subscribe She Spice for more videos.